Scouting uh, means a, a lot. Um, so I've been fortunate that I've been part of the scouting program for 30 years now, more than 30 years. And I really think of it as, uh, I know it is a little bit cliche if you look at kind of what the tagline of scouting is, but family and friends and fun and adventure. Um, some of the best experiences in my life have been the adventures that I've been on, on scouting events, uh, local and national. Uh, and it's been with the people that I care the most about, friends that I met in the scouting program, lifelong friends, as well as family. Um, significant part of my family, uh, parents, sibling, my sister, uh, uncles, grandparents, have all been part of the scouting movement um, over the course of time, not necessarily here in New England, but, uh, and that's been one commonality across uh, all of us, is it's something that we can all relate to each other and shared experiences. I was uh, started going to Camp Norse back in the, the early 90s, and um, although I was a little timid as a youngster to go to, to true resident camping, I would say the, my first experiences at Camp Norse were part of uh, Cub Parent Weekends. Uh, so where uh, me and my father would just go for a weekend and get to stay in the canvas tent and participate in the, the activities that they had running that weekend from the archery, the BB, the swimming, uh, the field sports or whatnot. And so um, that was always, looking back at that, that was my first exposure to kind of the great outdoors in the context of camping. Uh, and I got to do that at Camp Norse with my father, which was awesome. I think scouting is very important. And I think it's important because it's one of the few organizations that effectively teaches young people, uh, both male and female, both hard skills and soft skills. And by hard skills, things that you can actually become useful, even if you don't realize they're gonna be useful. So how to go about um, kind of undertaking a project, how to uh, tie a knot, how to build a fire, how to get yourself out of a survival or a dangerous situation are all things that you pick up, even if you don't realize that you're picking it up. But the softer skills, the things that you learn in being part of the scouting movement and going on the journey of rank progression or getting involved in other parts of the program from communication, teamwork, uh, learning adaptability and flexibility, leadership skills. I don't think that there's any program in our society or any organization in our society that does a more effective job of catering to both the hard and the soft skills that you need to just be successful and be a good contributor to our society. I use the soft skills in my job uh, every day. So um, professionally, I'm a management consultant. And so uh, day in and day out, I'm helping clients kind of solve their most challenging uh, problems. Uh, typically, they are business problems and we're using technology to, to solve them. And as I've progressed in my professional career, um, you get put in different experiences and different scenarios with different sets of stakeholders. And the softer skills, the ability to actively listen, the art of empathy, uh, demonstrating uh, leadership in the, the trickiest of, of forums with very senior uh, executives uh, becomes all the more important. And I think a lot of the foundational um, learning and the, a lot of my experiences um, in scouting gave me just a taste of kind of developing, starting to develop some of those skills that I literally use every day of my professional life.